Close combat missiles on an aircraft are necessary for engaging targets within visual range or at close distances due to their immediate response capability, high maneuverability, target discrimination, and reduced reliance on external sensors. Examples of close combat missiles include the Vimple R-73, AIM-9 Sidewinder, and the Python-5. The R-73 and the Python-5 are already in service with the Indian Air Force, but the country is looking to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers by developing a homegrown missile. India is in the process of developing a next-generation close combat missile, which has already revised its design approach. Initially, it was decided that the missile would incorporate an infrared homing seeker onto the existing airframe of an Astra Mark I missile. However, as of right now, a completely new design approach is being taken into account. It is possible that installing an infrared homing seeker on a beyond visual range missile's airframe and turning it into a close combat missile is a workable alternative in certain circumstances. This will rely on the particular requirements and limitations of the situation. Nevertheless, if India went ahead with that strategy, there would be certain performance sacrifices involved. For instance, BVR missiles are focused on longer ranges and engagements. While close combat missiles concentrate maneuverability, agility, and target acquisition at shorter distances. When a BVR missile is retrofitted, its performance in close quarters, its ability to maneuver, and its seeker capabilities may all suffer. BVR missiles can use radar or other long-range sensors, to detect and steer themselves towards their targets. There is a possibility that a BVR missile with an infrared homing seeker added after the fact will not perform as well as a dedicated close combat missile that already has a seeker built in. Engaging in close range combat frequently necessitates the acquisition of a target in a timely and precise manner which may be better served by a missile designed specifically for this purpose. Also it is possible to create a specific close combat missile that has weight and size characteristics that are optimized for encounters that take place in close quarters. The next generation of DRDO's close combat missile will emphasize improved performance in short-range engagements, specifically aiming for distances less than 50 kilometers. The missile will possess lock-on after launch capabilities. A lock-on after launch capability in air-to-air -air missiles can provide certain advantages and flexibility in combat scenarios. It allows a missile to be launched without having to establish and maintain a continuous lock on the target before launch. Instead, the missile can acquire and track the target after it has been launched. The missile will also include advanced capabilities like a two-way data link that allows the launching aircraft to update targeting information while in flight. This includes target location, speed, and trajectory. It updates the missile's position, velocity, and system faults. This information aids the operator's missile evaluation and engagement decisions. The data link can tell the operator of the target's destruction or damage after the missile impacts. This feedback helps operators assess mission success and determine next steps. The Indian Air Force is still primarily armed with Russian air-to-air -air missiles from the R-27, 73, and 77 families. But it also has Western air-to-air -air missiles, such as Meteor BVR missiles and Mica missiles for the Raphael, as well as upgraded Mirage 2000. For the Tejas, Israeli Derby and Python air-to-air -air missiles are also used. The Indian Air Force, has also chosen the next-gen Osram Close Combat Missile. It will be used first on upgraded Jaguar Darren 3 Strike Fighters.